Hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 80 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. So instead of starting with the progress report, I think that I will start with the war section this week. Don't worry, you will get the progress report a little later in the video. Uh, so if the war section the war section, the war update on the war can best be explained with the, this little map of the area we were invading here. So TCU, we no longer own any TCU. We no longer own any iHub. Uh, our inv invasion of Geminate has failed. Uh, Clearly, there's no denying it at this point. Uh, last week, I thought we were still in a situation where we could hang for longer term. Uh, as the event unfolded uh, earlier in the week and throughout the week, uh, we had basically became clear that there was no way we could still uh, turn that around. Uh, even though last week I still, I personally was thinking that there was still something we could do. It re, it, it became clear as the week get progress that it was not possible. Uh, the first thing, the real, one of the big turn turning tide here was this fleet here where we had 62 people to fight against uh, dark side and tissue and we lost one of our structure one right arrow and we lost an entire fleet of munin so that's almost 15 bill in lost uh, that was a real moral killer uh, at that point it was very very clear that it was no longer possible after that battle uh, we discussed with one of our corp uh, rusted be because we had the feeling that they were already uh, they were they were already not too happy with what was happening and sub warfare and like long protected sub warfare was not really what they were looking for uh, and they informed us that they were leaving the alliance. So that started cascading a little bit. And then what happened after that was that our uh, our main FCs that were shouldering like all those timers and all those battle, it became very taxing to them, the amount of time they had to put in game. Uh, because there was, we didn't have enough strat FC to share, to share the load. And at some point, my main Euro uh, FC uh, decided to throw the towel. So he, uh, he, he was no longer enjoying his time in game. And he decided to, to resign. So uh, once that happened, it was clear there was, there was no turning this around. So we, we lost our most senior FCs. Uh, we were losing ship left and right. We did manage a little push where we killed the Kronos, so we were really proud of that one. But all in all, that's like the best showing that we had uh, was something like that. So during the week, well, we got thoroughly, we got thoroughly beaten. Uh, 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 we did fight. I mean, the the heavy uh, lifting against us was done by tissue. Uh, and dark side that did show up for for some fight which were pretty slow, strong and there was also some show from initiative and volta i from the intel i have these four group weren't really coordinating as being in com all the time and everything but they were all fighting us uh, we did have some support from winter co was fighting tissue but uh, that that was not enough for us to turn the tide. So basically, the the entire uh, the entire operation failed, and uh, Womp 
uh, it has been pulling out of Geminate for the past uh, four, three or four days. Uh, we're liquidating, all, we, we, we are not, we have liquidated all assets in the constellation. Uh, we found buyer for our different structures. Uh, we evac most of our ship. There's still a few people that were on vacations and stuff and that needs to evac, but most of the most of the member assets have been uh, secured. So that was the important part of that. Uh, Alliance wallet is down a lot. Uh, I'm still pretty proud that no SRP request was denied. So we did pay SRP to all of our members. So at least they didn't lose uh, that much into it, uh, into the fight. Uh, if you want to look at the progress report, because I think that's appropriate at this point, uh, as you can see, the value of my wallet, my account plus that of the corporation is now at uh, 125 billion HISC. Uh, most of it is on Tanak. There's a, there like the, the corp uh, toy company is now under 10 billion uh, in asset. Uh, the I do have uh, 13 bill of the uh, uh, the corporation uh, money in my wallet right now because I was uh, I was handling the transfer of structure so I'll I need to put it back in the uh, in toy company uh, but all in all that's it if you want to look at the at the tracker here uh, it was a significant drop. Uh, and we can look at it here. So in, in, uh, here, uh, it's a significant drop where we are basically back at the level uh, we were before we got into pure blind. So that's about six months of progress erase. If you want to look at it on a pure, uh, purely uh, ISK value, uh, obviously that's not. I mean, money is something we did learn a lot from what happened uh, both politically and how to operate as a group uh, so I did like make a little presentation of uh, the mistake that we made and our kind of an analysis of what happened and what we want to do going forward so that that's it for the actual ISK now uh, member membership we did a member cleanup because we had one corp that was leaving and then our main fc decided to leave uh, and a few member decided to jump ship to when the main fc left so we are down this is the more most accurate number that i have we are down to 342 member but I did at the same time do a member cleanup to clean the inactive because we wanted to know how we were like how we could uh, what we had to build going forward. So there are still a lot of people that are still logging in and that are still member of the corp at least half of those two like, like that's about half of the member that logged in in the past 24 hours. Most of them logged this week so and and you see that they're they're i mean some of them still have stuff in mbph which is uh, the system that we were using but uh, all in all we still do we still have a, a significant uh member base to build going forward uh, we did lose a few officers we did lose a few uh a few uh senior fcs so what it means for us going forward is that uh, we basically, in terms of number, I think we're still bigger than when we arrived in Pure Blind. Uh, in terms of ISK, we're about at the level where we were at that point. Uh, in terms of what we learn as, as an alliance, it is, uh, I mean, you, well, you'll, you'll see, but it, it is significant. We It, it was like a a lesson in eve i would say uh but but i mean that that's that's part of the game you've got to learn to deal with it 
uh, some guy lose a titan i we lost basically almost i'm not sure if it's a titan but we lost close to 100 mil 100 bill in the span of two weeks so i mean that we took a shot it's more than many people can say uh, we went from nothing to a solve holding alliance to a day on the solve map uh, and back down to to that level now but at least we took a shot we, we we tried and that we're pretty proud of having tried now you'll see the tissue member are saying that my spin level is uh, the equivalent of fountain frank well I'll be honest they actually made a video for for us and i'm going to link it about about this entire operation and since i'm here to tell a story of what what hap what's happening from a guy that started eve and that you can follow it week by week i think that part of the story is also putting the failure on publicly because you learn from your failure and they're part of the story a good story doesn't always have progression if you if you never have any setback and if everything was easy uh well couldn't be fun uh so you got to embrace uh, the reputation and if i'm being called if i'm being compared to fountain frank <laughs> it means i'm important enough for people to make video about me so hey whatever <laughs> i mean at that point you got to embrace it uh well, we did, okay, the first question that people ask is, are you gonna, like, are you gonna quit? And the people were afraid, like, with our morale, because, because of losing some of the senior staff, because of the entire is class and everything. And I'm... I don't think I'm the kind of well I mean any of course like if you want to ask me honestly like no I'm not happy with what happened but at the same time I'm not the kind of guy that gonna quit just before or just because I, I took a loss I mean that, that, that's not part of that that's not my mentality and last time I did almost quit was because I felt I didn't have uh, anything I could do in game, where this is not the case anymore. I am a more experienced alliance leader. I still have a strong core group in the alliance. We still have enough ISK to be able to rebuild. Uh, we have a very strong alliance culture, and the people are even though like morale is not, I mean, I'm not going to lie, morale is not at its peak, but it's, it's incredibly better than what you would expect after a loss like that. So there's still a story to be told. We still have a game to play and we still have fun playing that game together. So I'm not going to quit. I am going to continue and we are going to try to rebuild. That is the, the message that I want to pass here is... Yeah, you can tune in next week and the week after because there will still be update because we still have something to do we're not going to quit there i mean we we reach a certain level we got pushed down we got our ass ended to us we're going to learn from it and we're going to move forward and hopefully build even better and even stronger that's that's the goal so i will show you basically what our analysis of the war and th this is me reflecting on what happened and what can i learn from this because i mean if i'm gonna spend if i'm gonna lose a hundred billion is worth of asset i might as well get some education out of it and, <laughs> and learn what happened uh, the big mistake that we made going there was uh we had some deficient diplomatic recognizance in Intel. And, and this one I take personally because I usually, handle, I, I usually handle diplomacy myself. And I do recon on every structure. And I typically, I contact different group in an area. 
and I should have done that. Uh, we, we were growing fast and I was a floating part of the diplomacy to, to other people in alliance. And I should have taken, personally, this one, this one is on me. I should have taken more time and like, I should have taken better, uh, better recognizance of the area. I should have developed more contact. I should have talked with people more and maybe it would have turned out differently. So this is definitely, and I mean, we got there and we we were fighting for Corp at the same time. So that's that's basically is I should have I should have at least known something like this was would happen and I didn't. So clearly that's something that we need to fix in any other attempt like this. Uh, we were depending on a few skilled FC instead of generalized PvP expertise over our group. We are a relatively young group. We our pilot don't have huge amount of skill point and we're new bro friendly, so we're taking people from the ground up and trying to build them up as as a good pilot. Uh, but it does come with some limitation. So we're we were more susceptible for to for redshot. Uh, and it was very taxing for those FCs. When those FCs started getting tired, uh, it really impacted our performance. Uh, so that, that's that's one thing is that we need to, to put more focus on generalized PVP expertise instead of depending on a few FC that are controlling a, a horde of, of people that are like, a horde of people that are just pressing F1. Mm -hmm. uh, other mistake that we made is uh, we overcommitted asset after our initial success. Uh, when we did manage on the first the uh, first few days to capture a lot of iHub and TCUs and raise the ADM, we we like instantly started uh, expanding in the bottom constellation, uh, which was we overstretching and it led us to having to defend more timer to having to defend more structure we should have waited at least a week if not more to secure the top constellation before trying to move some so that that was a, clearly an overcommitment and we were burning asset because of that because you put an ihub you upgrade the ihub at least to a level one and two so you're, you're putting like two three billions on grid each time and this this was uh, this was taxing for us. So we sh we should have uh, took the invasion more slowly and secured the first constellation. So that's clearly something that we need. And we also overestimated our willingness to fight a long campaign. We were really really pumped up when we arrived here, and we were all very sure that we could commit long term. After a week our numbers started going down. Uh, after the first few lost, some of our guys got kind of shell-shocked and didn't lug as much. So we started with 100 men in fleet, and after, uh, and then it went to 80, and then it went to, to 50, uh, and that really impacted our ability. So we probably should have made a better uh, better assessment of our willingness to commit to a long campaign. Uh, but that clearly that, that was one, uh, one of the other mistakes we've made. So all in all, uh, that's like the big point. Uh, I mean, obviously we made some other one there. I'm not, and I'm not talking about tactical, tactical mistake here. Uh, fitting doctrine, these are all other stuff. This is more like a strategic level mistake. Uh, the only thing we can do is deal with it. You're an Eve, I can't reload a save game. <laughs> Don't do Geminate Invasion. Uh, you deal with it, that's it. It's not much. Uh, the aftermath and where we stand now. We lost uh, We lost two member corp and some senior officers. So we lost Trusted and Rejuvenated, who were, from what they told me, they're looking, they, they looking more to for 
smaller scale PvP roaming, a less uh, thing like faction warfare and stuff like that. So they wanted to do something else. That's okay. I mean, everybody do what they want in the game, and they do. You have to do something you enjoy. And uh, we lost our Polish co uh, corporation. Don't ask me to pronounce their name. Uh, MRGO. Uh, they when we decided to evac germinate they actually uh, decided to stay there uh, and from my understanding uh, they probably uh, negotiated something with the tissue we were fighting so good for them i mean again uh, we're, we're still blue with the mrgo uh, and uh, i mean I wish them luck. I, they, they were with us, but they, for them, they wanted really to be in that area. So uh, they decided to go in a separate way. Uh, we, we lost some senior leadership, but we still have a core of leader willing to commit. So I'm not alone managing the group. I still have a team of competent people that can help me uh, move the group forward. Uh, some leader where it hard and actually stepped away from the game, but didn't join other group or anything. So of course they are welcome back if they decide to that uh, they still want to they still want to play with us. So that's that's the situation we have now. Uh, some line member left, uh, but we still have a core of uh, three hundred plus active character in the last month. So. Um, we still have a good number of people. Enough, I would say, if I had to do a fleet today and I called for a max form, I could probably still get 40, 50 people in fleet, maybe. Uh, of course, we're no longer able to pull a fleet of 100 people like we did when we initially invaded. Uh, but that's that's the reality of it. So right now, I would say we're probably like uh, half in our size and our military ability. Uh, our logistic and HR crew are tired after this campaign, but they're still very committed to the core, the, to the cause. So uh, we still have the ability to move asset around we still have the ability to deploy so that's still good and we saved enough asset to have a good baseline to build back uh, i could not be uh, anchoring hasbells and fortisars tomorrow uh, in large number obviously but i'm we got more than enough to to put a baseline somewhere and start to, to build starting from there. Uh, we do have a lack of strategic level FC, but we still have a good core of junior FC that can run fleet for content and that will have to step up and learn the rope to become uh, better at large fleet fighting when we get into that. So that's the situation we're in now. Going forward, uh, the people that we have now in Alliance are committed to WOMP. They stayed through the bad time. They are still with us, even after that fail attempt. They are still logging in, and they still want to see the corp grow and thrive. So that that is a good, a, a great advantage that we have, is that we, we now have a, a group of really people that are really committed to the Alliance. Uh, we are going to collapse all our member corp into one active corp, uh, Guns R Us. And WAMP is going to become, is going to be for a while at least, uh, one, uh, one corp alliance. Uh, we are holding recruitment for a few weeks. Uh, the main reason for that is that right now we are still looking at what's going to be our new home. Uh, so it wouldn't be fair to integrate new member when you don't have something to offer them. So uh, at that point, we're going to hold recruitment for, for a week or two at least until we get back on our feet and uh, are able to, to provide members with 
something. Uh, we are gonna focus a lot more on quality rather than speed of growth. Uh, I got caught in the bigger is better mentality, uh, especially on member number. So we were, we, we had a very open recruitment policy which made us vulnerable to spies. Well, you, you, there's always be spy and Eve, but low effort spy could easily get in. So we want to at least uh, raise the bar a little bit so that we can filter out low effort spy and we can get people that, that really want to play with us, that are on calm, that are active, so we're, and that, that develop their PVP skill. So we're gonna focus a lot more on, 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 on quality rather than the speed of the growth of the alliance. And we're, we want to focus on individual PVP rather than relying on strat FC. Uh, so the idea is that uh, industry is great, ratting is great, but you need to be willing to unduck and fight if needed. And, and you need to do it when somebody roams your system. So that, that, that's going forward, we want to push. We, we were already heading in that direction, but we need to push a lot more into that. Uh, so focus on quality, focus on more individual PVP ability. We're not going to stop doing industry. We are, we are an industrial alliance. But we need to be still be pushing those uh, those aspects. Uh, what we are looking for, because I know posting that publicly, uh, I've already been, uh, I would say, turning down obvious poaching attempt. Uh, what we are looking for, first of all, is the people want to keep the Womp Alliance tag. The people that I have here are people that are loyal to WAMP. They they want they want this alliance tag. They want to be part of our group. Uh, so I am not. I don't want to move Gonzalez into somebody else's alliance. That's for sure. Uh, we want to find a place to live in Alsec. We are too big for a warm warm world with the amount of people that we have. Uh, it would be hard for a wormhole to support us. At least that's what my wormhole people told me. Uh, so we'd need a few hole and we still have the, I mean, we want to focus more on quality, but we're still not there yet. So we still depend on, uh, on fleet with FC. So I think that in a wormhole, you're, you have to be more focused on individual player, uh, skills. So we want to live in Lawsec. Ideally, we would like to have a few system of our own that we can upgrade, that we can anchor structure in to build an industrial park. Uh, our, again, we are an industrial alliance. Many of our people like to mine. They like to build stuff. So we, we need a place to set that up. Uh, and Anybody that's been following my series since the beginning, I'm not a guy that believe in ISEC production. Low sec, there's a there's something to be said for, but uh, we're looking for something in null, ideally. We don't want to be renting. I am dead set against renting. Uh, I rather provide pilot to a coalition fleet than be a renter. Uh, Ideally, we would want to be part of a small group having some local blue that we collaborate with, because, but we don't want to be in a big block. Uh, so big block, I would say, uh, uh, Winterco, Panfam, Imperium, or Test. That I don't want to be in a large group like that. We're more small, independent, oriented than large group. Uh, Aside from that, well, ideally we want it to be outside of pure blind or geminate because we're looking at writing the next chapter, not reliving an old one. So that's what we want to do going forward. I already started talking with a few groups. Uh, 
and I'm looking at offer they have on the table. Uh, this is not something that we're taking lightly because we're at a point where, uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie, at this point, the Alliance need a little bit of healing. <laughs> uh, we, we, we are in, we are still motivated, motivated to grow, uh, to grow the Alliance, to get back on our feet. Uh, but I don't want to be moving the guys around. I just, I mean, they just left pure blind to try to invade Germ germinate and then they still they had to evac so we just went through true evac true evac i want the place where we can stay for at least uh at least a few months if not more uh to build something longer term so i'm an, uh, i'm gonna be analyzing the the offer that we've had uh, I did already, uh, I mean, I did get some offer that are interesting and I, uh, that I, that I can understand why they would be appealing, but they need to be appealing to what we are trying to do. So for us, that, that means all the criteria I talked about, keeping our alliance tag, uh, we're more than willing to be part of a coalition and to provide pilot for a coalition fleet uh, but we don't want to be outright integrated as a corp to somebody else's alliance and ideally we want a few system that we could be we could develop so that we could upgrade the ihubs upgrade the ccus and live in there and have our own little space uh so that's about it uh, as then as the past two weeks been rough well they've been uh, like three weeks now they've been fun and they've been rough they you i mean the the game when the game gets hard like that on you uh, you re it, it's kind it's the sandbox setting you in the face because you're not playing against NPC you're not playing uh, you're not playing a written story before you're writing the story as you go along could a lot of things could have gone differently few stuff could I have talked with tissue more on the first day or even before probably uh, could I mean change a few of the battle result or a few people that kind of gave up and decided not to log and would they, if they have been present from the start that I mean a few of a few a few change like that can have like very large effect on on the outcome but still all in all it's still that that's the beauty of a game like Eve so I, I can't say I regret giving it a shot. I had fun trying to do it. Well, I would have loved it to succeed more than fail. Uh, I, I, but still, we gave it a shot. And we, we tried something. And hopefully, we'll rebuild to, to get even stronger in the future. So that's about it. Uh, aside from that, me, Tanak, personally, I told you I wanted to become a better combat pilot. Uh, I will also, and you will hear a few wampling shaking in their pants as I say that, I want to maybe try FCing some fleet too. Uh, this, if I can get at least to a level where I could be... Uh, able to coordinate a small group and help in these types of battle uh, put pressure off my strategic FC uh, that would add to my value as a player so but that's more me Tanak the player as me as a CEO because a, C I, a CEO you could compensate by having competent people and 
but again being being competent yourself in the field is never bad so i want to at least try to get to fc some fleet maybe once a week or something start small with something i can afford to lose and uh, get better at it because you can't you can't learn to swim without getting wet so that's it anyway i hope you guys enjoy i've been reveling a little bit so stay tuned for next week this week i'm really gonna plan if if i can by the end of next week have our final destination uh, that would be ideal right now most of our, our assets have been evac uh, we are regrouping i know that after i put this video online i will get uh, calls from different people uh, that's all that's okay i'm gonna listen to like I, i'm gonna listen to all the offer and debate with my leadership what's best for the group uh, and hopefully we'll find a place i mean we do have a group of competent motivated pilots so uh, we can be an asset to to any small group that would have us so all in all i i don't think I'll have problem finding something, uh, but I'm gonna be a little territorial and avoid uh, outright poaching attempt. Uh, that at this point, that's not something that we want. We are uh, too uh, too attached to our warm culture to uh, to give it up uh, as, uh, that easily. Uh, so, well, that's it. See you guys next week. Bye bye.